When applying or editing connections, one of the options to select will be Auto Standard. When Auto Standard is the connection type selected, SDS2 Connect will design a connection based on the settings and setup for different conditions and scenarios. Let's take a look at where to set up Auto Standard Connections. In Setup, under Auto Standard Connections is where these will be set up. Let's first define what a condition and a scenario are. A condition is which member types are being connected, for example, a beam to column. A scenario is what material type is connecting to what material type and how it is positioned in the connection, for example, wide flange to wide flange material, web perpendicular. To modify the connection configuration for a certain condition and scenario, select it on the left and the connection type, field clearances, and connection specifications will then be shown on the right. Input connection type is used to select what type of connection is to be desired. Non-moment bolt diameter is the default bolt diameter SDS2 Connect will attempt to design a connection with. If required, it may increase this bolt diameter. Field clearance is typically the distance from the face of the connection to the face of the element being framed to. For shear plates, this is the distance between the end of the beam to the face of the supporting element or if the plate extends past the supporting elements flange the distance between the beams. This is set for both the left and right end of the elements. Connection specifications that we see are also found in the connection edit window. To learn more about these options please watch the connection specific videos for clip angles, shear, etc. When editing connections, if the connection type is auto standard, connection specifications will not be available in the connection edit window. To show an example of how auto standard connections work, I will modify the beam to column condition for wide flange beam to wide flange column web perpendicular. Currently, this is set to a bolted clip angle. I will change the attachment method in the connection specifications to weld clip angles. We can see in the framing situation here that we have a bolted clip angle connection framing to the web of the column. If I edit the connection, we see auto standard as the selection for connection type. Take note that the connection specifications is blank. This is because these are set in setup for auto standard connections. If I need to access these options through the connection edit window, the connection type needs to be changed to something other than auto standard. Once OK is selected, SDS2 Connect will redesign the connection using the settings that I changed in the auto standard setup. The connections to the column flanges are not changed because that is a different scenario than what was changed in setup. If the column is rotated, SDS2 Connect again redesigns the connections as the framing situations have changed and it recognizes this. Looking at the other elements in the model, we can see that they also recognize the change and are updated as well. If a connection does not work, SDS2 Connect will either use an alternate connection or a failed connection may result. An example can be seen with a beam framing to a column web that does not have enough room to fit the clip angles, so a shear tab is used instead.
So what are the advantages of using auto standard connections? One, they save time by setting the correct options once instead of editing each connection to accomplish the desired results. Two, this ensures design consistency in that the total number of different connection designs needed to complete a job is minimized. And three, auto standard connections are designed by SDS2 Connect. Thank you for watching the SDS2 Connect auto standard tutorial.